Hey everyone, it's Nelson from TechGeekNelson.com and today I am taking a look at the mods for the Moto Z Force. Now this is exclusively on Verizon, so at the moment of the video, if you want to check this phone out for yourself, go to the Verizon store and play with it for yourself, which I highly recommend because there's a lot of cool things you can do with this and some of it, it okay, I turn my mobile data. Okay, like I was saying, some of this stuff it won't translate well on video. Some of the stuff you just got to see in person and hear it in person to get a good impression. But I'm going to try and do a good job of explaining all the features and what the experience is like with the Moto Z Force. So, in this video we're not going to talk about the details about the phone, the specs and all that. That's for another video. So, the back of the phone has the mods, which are basically magnetic connectors. And you just snap it off. So, this is an interchangeable cover. That's all this is. This is just a back plate. You can get them in different designs, and I think you can customize them on the Motorola site. So over here, you can see these are the magnetic connectors. So at the moment, there are three main mods, and I have them right here. This is the InstaShare projector. Next up, we have the JBL sound booth speakers, and then we also got an external battery pack, which has wireless charging. So let's take a look at this first. Alright, so this is the external battery pack, which there's not much to say about it, but with this, it allows for wireless charging. So right here, I have a wireless charger. I can just place it down, and my battery starts charging. So I could charge my external battery pack and charge my Moto Z Force. Now, the Moto Z Force already has a, a good battery inside, but adding this to it, it doubles the battery. So it truly is all day battery. And snapping the mods are very simple. It's like putting on a magnet. And there's no configuration needed whatsoever. Everything just works. That's taking it right from Steve Jobs. Everything just works. So now let's take a look at the JBL Sound Boost speaker. Again, just snap it into place. And instantly, the speaker, well, I don't know what music I should play. So there's no pairing needed. Everything works natively. So it works as if these speakers are built in because they kind of are built in. And everything is secure in here. Even though these are magnets, they're really secure. You're not, they're not going to fall off anytime. Even if you're bouncing around or doing whatever, they're not going to fall. They're very secure inside. It is worth noting that it does make the phone a little bit bigger and thicker. But I don't really mind at all. It actually fits nicer in my hand. So I would demonstrate the speaker, but I don't want to get hit with a copyright claim. So I'm not going to do it. But you got to take my word for it that these speakers are really powerful and they are awesome. They make a big difference. Uh, and it's so much better than carrying around an uh, external speaker. Even though external speakers are really small and so powerful, this still beats it. There's no wires. There's nothing like that. And it has its own built-in battery. So just like with the wireless charger, well, this is not wireless charging, but you can charge the speaker separately and it has its own battery. So it won't drain the battery. There you go. It's USB-C. So you charge this separately. So it won't drain your battery. That is awesome right there. Now it is worth noting that the battery pack costs $90 and the speaker costs $80 at the time of this video. So the pricing might change within a month or two or maybe sooner. Who knows? It might change in your area. Definitely go to a Verizon store and check this out for yourself. Especially the speakers because this is something that it won't demonstrate well on video. You just gotta see for yourself. And you'll just feel the, the, the bass when you have in your hands. Another great feature that's worth noting is the kickstand. I love cases that have the kickstand built in. That is just awesome. And it's really strong. It's like a, I don't know, I wanna say alonum, but it has a very premium feel to it. And so this thing is not gonna break off easily. I, I like the little kickstand. Now let's take a look at something even more fun than this. Okay, so in here is the InstaShare projector and it comes with this nice little bag. And it is crazy thin. This is the projector. That is crazy. Now back in December, I reviewed a Sony projector, a portable projector that had HDMI built in and I liked the idea behind it, but it overheated really quickly and I had a hard time mounting it. I couldn't put it on a tripod, I couldn't put it on a desk, I had to put it like on a very flat surface. It was, it was hard to get the exact angle that I wanted. But with this projector, that's not an issue because it has its own little kickstand, just like with the JBL speakers. But this is more better because you have more position over the angles. You're not limited to just one angle. 
So you can put it on the ceiling, on the wall. Now let's look at the buttons. This is the focus. And there's only one button. That's all, that's all, you, need in, uh, that's all you need to turn it on. Just, just one button, you hold it for a few seconds. The projector uh, automatically starts mirroring what you see on your phone. And just like with the other mods, it is very simple to hook up. Just line it up. And you hear a snap. And I showed this off on Instagram, but I'll do it again. You just hold the button, the modal mod button, and it boots up. And there's my screen. And the way these projectors work, the more farther back you are, the bigger the image. It can go up to 70 inches, which I haven't tried. I haven't played around too much with it yet. That's why I'm removing the mods first, rather than going into the specifications of the phone. But I am super impressed with the quality of this projector. I mean, everything about the Moto Z Force is impressive, but this projector is really crazy. The projector itself is made from Lenovo because Lenovo owns Motorola. So this is a nice collaboration that they did. Now, one thing I really love about this is that it has auto keystone correction, which that what that means is that um, no matter if you tilt it, it's gonna correct it. I was going to try to correct it at least. There you go. See, so you see it, it's at an angle and then it fixes it. So that is something that no other projector I've tried before has. Now you might be able to hear the fan, which is not bad because this room right now is pretty hot. So I can imagine that fan is working over time. But yeah, it's, it's really quiet. I have another projector and the fan is just super loud. This one is very tolerable. So obviously this is not that most ideal for everybody, but it's still something really cool to have, and it's something that none of your friends will probably have because they all have Samsung, they, have, they all have iPhones. This is something completely different, something that a lot of people have not seen. I did a quick video on Instagram showing off the projector, and everyone was just asking questions. People were asking how much it cost, can it work with my phone? And the answer I kept telling everyone no, it can't work with your phone. It only works with the Motorola mods, which is the um, Moto Z and the Moto Z Force. But don't worry, more phones will come out in the very near future. So that's, that's, the, that's the biggest downside to the projector. It's The price is a little bit of a downside, but that's expected because remember the projector I reviewed in December, that was 400, so this is 300. But at least with that projector, you can use it with any HDMI device. This one, you're limited to just this projector, I mean this smartphone right here. So you can't put it on an iPhone, you can't hook up your PS4 and game on it. But you can play some uh, games on here. So this is awesome for obviously watching YouTube as I've been showing off, watching Netflix, and you can project it up to 70 inches so everyone can see it. I hate it when people bring their phones to me and be like, hey, look at this YouTube video. And you gotta pretend to be interested, but you're not interested because the screen is too, too small for you to enjoy it. And then you gotta share headphones. It's stupid. This is the ultimate way to share content with your friends. And you can even be a little more creative and get two controllers and you can go ahead and do some gaming. So this is a pretty powerful phone. You are gonna have no problems running all the latest games and running emulators. So like right here, this is a PlayStation 1 emulator. You can definitely get two controllers, Bluetooth controllers, set it on a table and start gaming with friends. You can play Mario Kart, uh, pretty much whatever you want. And that is awesome. That is something you can't do with your iPhone. So I think that's it for this video on the Moto Mods. There will definitely be more videos of this in the very near future. There's a lot to talk about and there's a lot of other demonstrations that I want to do. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter at Nelson. Stay tuned for more videos.